are following developing news this noon of a homemade explosive going off in a police building downtown. News 4's George Ricker joins us live with the latest. George, what's going on? Well, all is clear now, but whoever did this could be in a lot of trouble. Someone actually had the nerve to bring in some type of M80 homemade explosive device inside the Board of Elections building and it set it off on the same floor as Erie County Sheriff's Professional Standards Unit. Take a look at the video. This happened a little bit before 10 o'clock this morning. About 100 Erie County Board of Elections workers and a dozen Erie County Sheriff's Office workers had to evacuate the building for a, about an hour. Delaware was closed. West Eagle was closed to traffic. What sounded like an explosion somewhere between the fourth and fifth floors of this building on West Eagle that left a purplish smoke in the fourth floor. We just heard a little boom, I guess it was, or a noise. We thought it might have been the garage door, and we didn't think of anything uh, until we heard the fire alarm go up. We were grabbing the people from the fourth floor. We were using the stairwells to evacuate the building. When we opened up the store stairwell, there was um, a white, purplish type of smoke in the stairwell. It was not, it was not overpowering by any stretch of the imagination, but it was prevalent. Typically, unless you have a boiler, nothing really explodes like that. Or if you have a natural gas explosion, typically a heating doesn't explode and shake a building like that. Now, fortunately, no one was hurt, but they're taking this very seriously. Even though the streets have reopened, everyone was allowed back inside the building. But what they have determined and told us just minutes ago, this appears to be a homemade explosive device that went off in the fourth floor of the Erie County Sheriff's and Erie County Board of Elections building. We will have much more on this on News 4 at 5 and 6. For now, live on West Eagle, George Rickard, News 4 at noon.